when we decided to uh, use a producer for this record, um, we wanted, again, we're a type of band that tries different things all the time. I think that Cataclysm is probably uh, the band that's used, uh, that has not used the same producer, you know, that many times, you know, maybe once or twice on the same record or, or two, re two records in a row. I think Sue Madsen was the one that we used twice, uh, you know, uh, in a row or something. But we usually try to find somebody that's different, that give us a little bit of a different sound. Um, this time, we took um, a completely different approach. Uh, we went with somebody that's never done a death metal band before. It was um, a huge challenge and it was a huge gamble at the same time. Uh, but we've been listening a lot to uh, some of the productions out there that have been done from different producers. And uh, he had some big drum sounds, some big bass sounds. He's done a great job on the last Stone Sour record and the last uh, Anthrax album. Uh, we were very impressed by the sound and we said, you know what, I think this, this could be something interesting for Cataclysm. Uh, so when we were searching for the producer, as soon as we approached him, he was the guy that was just jumped on the project, you know. Uh, I think uh, he's also Canadian, so I think that um, that was the thing. He was like, I want to do a you know, metal Canadian metal band, you know, and I was like, cool. And then we had a meeting behind the scenes and saying, I don't know if this guy has any idea what he's getting himself to, <laughs> into with this band, you know, it's like super heavy stuff. And so I was like, uh, let's do it. And then it started. And then when he got the material, he was like, holy shit, this is heavy. And he was like, not used to doing that, right? So for him, it was like a complete, you know, crazy project. So usually an album mix, I think, you know, two weeks, maybe three, if you're pushing it, you know. This thing took like five, six weeks to, to, to mix, you know, um, and we were getting worried at the end that maybe it's too heavy for him or something, but then he was like, you know, I'll do my thing and don't worry. And when we got the product, we were like, holy shit, it's got to be the biggest sounding Cataclysm record ever. We also hired a different uh, person for mastering. That's the first time we do that as well. Like usually the same guy that produces would master. And this time we used uh, Paul Logis out of New York and he did uh, all the Pantera records. So most of the Pantera records, uh, like Far Beyond Driven, the great sounding Trend Kill and all that. And the mix of those two was just stellar. You know, it worked out, it worked out perfect. Before, you know, we used such a great producer like Andy Sneap on the, on the, of Ghosts and Gods, which is a big, big sound as well. Uh, but it's, it's a different beast, you know, it's a different uh, feeling, different world for, for, for what we're doing now. And um, he, just, he just nailed it. And uh, it's cool because there's no other band in our world uh, that has used them. So I think that makes it cool. Like, you know, that we're able in this day and age to take a chance or a gamble, especially after, you know, doing 12 records, to do something, going out and trying something like that. I think it takes some guts. I'm proud of my guys and proud of, you know, us taking that chance, you know, because it worked for us. And I'm positive that we took the right decision, you know. For evil to triumph. It only takes good men to do nothing.